You are a very old Big Daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. There you go, there's the plot to the entire game. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, as far as I could tell, as far as I played, that was the plot to the entire game. Hi, buddy! Hi! Hi! I'm gonna kill you! Hi! Hi! Uh, I guess I'm not actually going to kill you. You just killed yourself. On trap rivets! The new type of rivet. Yes. Lag the game. New ammo type. Oh, dear. Alright, let's grab this first aid kit. We're not going in there just yet. I need to explore this room first. Because I think we can get access to some more happy little trap bolts. And we need to get a lot of them before the next part shows up. Dr. Su Chong's death was a nasty blow to the protector program. But I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight. Like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more, something stronger, an unbreakable physiological bond. And thusly, we open the door to Ryan Amusements and stuff. What was that? Our remote hag guards. I guess I could hack this vending machine. These are kind of pointless this early in the game, but whatever. Thank you. Oh, hey, we got a free first aid kit from hacking that one. That's all I wanted, actually. Oh, boy. Howdy! You are one ugly mofo. Ugh. By the way, if you... I'm not sure if you're noticing or not, but the splicers in this game are a lot more screwed up than normal. And there's a reason for that. It's because everything is decaying at rapid speed. But we're gonna press this button and get a little treat. Turn to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins, and the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk. Citizens of Rapture, this is Subject Delta. Behind that mask hides an enemy of the people, without soul or sympathy. It is a beast apart, and as family. We must tear out its jaw and drive it back into the sea. Lamb will take this place apart to fight you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Yes, ma'am. And, uh, before I do that, um. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Rock, so. I've got to do this because I'm dumb and didn't do this when I start recording because I'm fine when we're on. Anyway, back to the game. Let's see. What we can do first is we can auto hack that. What's cool is we can move around while we're hacking now. And we're going to switch ammo types. Oh, God. 
Die. Die. Set a thing. 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 I didn't do good placement on that one. Uh, set a thing. Set a thing. Set a thing. Oh god, look at all the people. Set a thing. Eh. Man, I hate these dudes. Please tell me I can just... Are there any explosives in here? Or am I just goobered? I think I'm goobered. No, that's fine. I can just pull out my rivet gun. Boy, 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 Nicely done. Somehow or another, we had fended them off. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. And good luck. Thank you, Tenenbaum. I'm sure we'll be okay. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor. Oh, man. with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tenenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building. The very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I could... I didn't mean to interrupt him. Um... But while I'm interrupting him, I might as well say that well, this is the most amazing character in the game. And do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. <laughs> oh, you don't even know. Augustus Sinclair. He is quite possibly one of the most amazing characters in the entire Bioshock series. Um, and it's not just because he talks kind of like Joe Hills. It's... It's just Sinclair. He says some pretty funny crap. So I'll be looking forward to that. So, anyway, uh, we gotta get on this train, and we are on our way to Atlantic Express. Let's start the ride. Oh, and by the way, I'm not sure if I said something about this before. Um, once you go to a new area, you can't go back. Nah. No. So, before you leave an area, you really need to make sure you've got everything from that area. I think we have everything from Atlantic Express, but if we don't, well... Oops. yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Okay, I'm going to see if I can fiddle with the settings and make that stop happening. I'll be right back. Yeah, I think that did it. Okay. The graphics were kind of maxed out, so that's probably why it was, yeah. So it was, turn it down a little bit, and make it a little bit easier on my computer to record all this crap. So I'm not crazy spazzing out every little bit. Which shouldn't be too bad, shouldn't really upset the flow too much. I'd rather have quality frame rate over super quality graphics. But anyway, um, yep, yeah, we are in Ryan Amusements, and we gotta get a handful of Hellfire. That doesn't sound like anything we played with before, does it? Nope. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was 
minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Whoa. I'm drunk. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go over to this vending machine and see if I can buy uh, some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, no, I can't. All right. I don't have any trap bolts. I think I wasted them all on the, no, I've got three of them. That's fine. But, okay, what we're going to want to do in this one room is we're going to want to place a few trap bolts, just kind of higgledy piggledy. Right there's probably a good spot. And I'm going to put one right here. Just like that. Yeah. That'll work just fine. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, oh. the sky's the limit. I want that. Dude, I want that. Give me that. Give me that machine gun. Oh. Power of the People Station. This early? I believe so. Let's see what we can get. Drill fuel efficiency, drill damage increase. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Drill damage increase. I think that's about the best upgrade you can get right now. The next upgrade we're probably going to get, though, is the rivet gun. Because the rivet gun, even though it's kind of like the pistol in this game, it's actually a little bit more powerful, and therefore a little bit more useful. So we'll probably be using it a lot. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Ryan Amusements. What we got here? Hello, little girl. Oh. Oh, no. A scary shape. I wonder what that could be. Oh, no. Oh, wait. We're Big Daddy, too. I don't care. Like, you can't do the scare thing. Jam I'm sorry. Daddy. That'll get you in the park. I'm a big but daddy. I don't care. But buying an incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. That is mine. <laughs> Jerk. Gimme. Haha. This is a thing. It's a little inaccurate right now, but we'll play with it just Listen for fun. Up. Choppers! Get yourself hid! No fuck ups this time! Oh he said a wordy dirty. In your face! <laughs> <laughs> Next. Welcome to Ryan Amusement. Insert your ticket now. Next. Price for children under three. <laughs> Crap. Wrench. Did I just say wrench? I did. Ugh, colorful.